Okay, new kitchen, that's what you're doing? Great, let's go over some important things about the electrical code that you're gonna wanna know. Okay, so this is uh, our old house, 1840. Although it looks new here, the rest of it, yeah, not so new, okay? Um, first thing you wanna do, and is very, very, very important, is mark out on the floor where your your refrigerator your uh, in this case our stove our sink all that stuff okay um let's you know mark all that out so now we know where our counters are going to be because that's what's important here so over here we have a 27 inch counter and i got a 30 inch stove going right here okay so i have counter space here i need an outlet Within four feet, I need an outlet. So that's this one over here. On the other side of our 36 inch window, I have that. I, got, I have a 30 inch uh, base cabinet with a 12 inch base cabinet. Okay, uh, so these outlets cannot span more than four feet. I think I already told you that. Okay, so we don't have very many. We have one, two, three, we have four outlets. Sure, four outlets can fit on one circuit, especially 20 amps, but not in this case. This is a kitchen, so the code is we need at least two separate circuits that are dedicated for our uh, kitchen outlets, 20 amp. So we're gonna have our two circuits. So uh, normally what I would do, I would uh, do every other. You know, I would go boom, boom, not one on two, but Hey, whatever you want to do uh that's the way i was taught maybe it's code i don't know i just keep following it you know for the last uh so many years the code i'm telling you about is actually uh 2017 code which is still uh in, a, in effect but they do have a new code coming out 2022 code coming out uh but the states uh here in new york has not adapted that yet as of september 2022 um what else do you need to know? Okay, uh, microwave, yes, dedicated 20 amp. How many outlets can you put on 20 amp? Well, let's put it this way, 80% of your, uh, the load capacity of your uh, breaker, which is uh, 20 amp, so four, okay, great number. People, this, it's a kitchen, the 20 amps, you got your, coffee maker you have your waffle maker boom two outlets yeah you're you're above 20 amps so you know so all this makes good sense okay um what else let me start running some wire how's that well i'm almost done running all my wires but enough to finish this video i don't want to make it run on forever one last tip yeah, your box. On the back of the box, you have a left side and a right side of, of the holes, top and bottom as well, where the wire comes in. What I always like to do, besides labeling on the wire, I mean, because the label only works until you strip it out, and you know, then you really, if you mess them up, you don't know anymore. What I like to do, this wire here is coming out on the left side. I'll give you a close up in a second. It's coming from the left side. Of this hole of a box so once the sheet rocks all on all they got to do is look in there and i know that wire is coming from that side normally from next outlet or one over whatever it may be or a jar or something oh yeah uh going on the right obviously is coming from that side so it, it really helps i do the same with i mean like everything really to know which way the wire is going uh because it could be months or weeks or whatever it may be until you're back here doing that anyway this is basic knowledge on on the kitchen wiring with those codes it's real important that you keep to those uh that'll save you a bunch of grief uh one other thing um obviously these wires are not even stapled in yet uh, when you when you go to staple them in, make them look nice. Make it look as clean and straight. When you drill your holes through all your studs, make sure they're pretty much in line, unless there's a reason you had to go like that. But just make it nice and straight, nice and clean. 
when the electrical inspector comes, have all your shavings cleaned up, uh, everything. Uh, also, you will have to strip all these wires and, and tie all the grounds together, cap the, uh, the, uh, the black wire, the hot wire, uh, is always a good thing. Um, different electrical inspectors will look for different things, but they're all going to look at code. They're not going to trace the wires, maybe, I doubt it. They're not going to trace the wires, but they're going to ask you, hey, how many circuits do you have on here for these countertops? And you say, well, just one. Fail. Make sure you tell, you tell them that you have at least two. And they give you, uh, well, how far is that apart? And you say, 47 inches. Say, okay. You know, it's under that 48. Okay. Just remember all those things. Have the answers for the electrical inspector pretty damn fast. Okay. And all nice and clean work makes that inspection go a long way. Trust me on that one.